boggling clothes. What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you, and we're doing a 2B Tuesday in honor of our friend Al Lucard, a.k.a. Dracula, a.k.a. the Bat in the Hat. It has come to our attention recently that there are some chump stains on YouTube that think they can uh, tell other YouTubers what they can and can't do. You can't do 2B Tuesday, we're doing Tuesday Tuesday. Well, fuck it, we're all doing 2B Tuesday. Let's do it, Al. We're going to talk about Gnome Alone. I really like this movie. It reminded me a lot of two of my other favorites, Leprechaun and Rumpelstiltskin. It stars Vern Troyer, Mini Me from Austin Powers as a little evil gnome like Rumpelstiltskin, the leprechaun, but he's a gnome like a garden gnome, but you know he don't sit all still in a yard. He's a little evil thing, he looks wicked, kind of looks a lot like Rumpelstiltskin and evil like him and leprechaun. And uh, well I get got kind of confused with the story from what I could understand as he stole something from a witch, so the witch cursed him to be a gnome and uh, to protect all witches that have a certain mark and it comes on with him in the alley modern times and the alley protecting this old homeless lady who's a witch and every time someone messes with her it kills them and she eventually uh there's this uh, young girl that works at the convenience store where she hangs out and she eventually gets killed and the girl's checking on her she gets hit by a car and the witch touches her and puts the sign on her so she becomes the new witch so Vertoyer, the gnome, is always following her around, protecting her. Whenever the girl would say, I wish this or that, I wish this person would die, I wish this person would leave me alone, he goes around killing them. If you like movies, little terror movies like Ginger Dead Man, Rumpelstiltskin, Leprechaun, I'd highly recommend you check it out. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's my little review. Peace to all the homies and fuck the haters. Hater.